Oh, disappointed. Looks like we're out of free beer here, guys. Out of free beer. Sorry. Okay, quick check. We've got an Amana. Supposedly that is not working. Slight possibility this switch could be bad. Uh, but not very likely. It's just an on-off switch, basically. So, first thing we're going to do is plug it in and see what it does. Okay, so it's completely dead. It does not turn on. Okay, so... I have this 3-in-1 start capacitor. What I can do is uh, I can isolate the whole circuit. If the compressor comes on with this, then it's going to be the switch, most likely, or it's going to be a capacitor or this relay itself is bad. Looks like all the wires are intact, no rodent damage. Let's check this real quick. We've got lights. So we got power to the unit. So, yeah. Okay, so here is the hard start relay. And so the middle terminal on this is the neutral. And that middle terminal would be also considered the black wire. So this black wire will go on that middle, middle terminal. And so this is the old start relay. Uh, I don't see a capacitor in there. There's probably a capacitor somewhere in here. Oh, here it is. This capacitor here could be shot. You can test them as well. Now let's take a look at this. This is the wiring setup there, basically. And then we have the run, which is the red wire. And the run wire would be on the right on this particular setup and they just slip in here like so and of course the last one on the list is going to be the start winding and that's the white wire so the white wire it's like a little pyramid in the uh, middle terminal is the common black okay and the right is the run in the excuse me the red is the run and the white is the start so now all we have to do is hook these two wires up directly i've got a patch cord here we'll hook these two wires up directly to this patch cord if the compressor comes on it's either going to be that capacitor the relay or the switch in the in the front let's see what happens okay so this one's coming on got this, our patch cord on here and it fired right up basically so it's a problem with the wiring, possibly the switch, the control switch. And the next thing we need to do is to make sure that it's going to get cold. It's very likely it will get cold. Um, uh, so... And typically with these we have um, this drain will get clogged up if you have ice build up here it would cause a problem build up ice here and it would leak out on the floor you can usually feel this it's getting actually getting I think I can feel it getting cold already feels like it's getting cold so this one is salvageable and so you know you don't really need to throw these things away if you don't have to so this one's this one is uh, salvageable. Splice these, wire that direct in, and that would uh, that would uh, basically save this machine. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact me. I give phone advice: thirty-five dollars seven zero seven five nine nine four four eight nine. You can also text that number as well. Serving in Northern California.